Hi Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. A couple things before we get started with your reading. One, there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, details are below. Just be careful with Instagram as people are trying to duplicate my account. Uh, if anybody solicits you for money, uh, that is not me. You can go ahead and block them, report them if you like. If I do personal readings, I will announce here on my channel, all right? So use the exact addresses in the description box and you shouldn't have a problem. So with that, Aries, let's just get started here. Let's get person on Aries' mind. We'll start with that, then we'll do the singles. First card out. Nice, four of wands. All right, okay. So Aries here, interesting, interesting, interesting energy here. I feel like you could potentially have, you know, I feel like there's somebody here on your mind. I feel like you could have other options around you. Somebody maybe even that you work with here, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles as well, and you have the Queen of Swords here, okay? So I definitely get there's somebody here on your mind. You do have the Four of Wands. So I feel like there is somebody here on your, on your mind that you feel makes you very happy or you see this person in a, see yourself in a relationship with this person. For some of you, I do pick up here. Somebody may have options here in this connection. But what I want to say here is I feel like there is somebody here that you were quite clear that, you know, this person on your mind that you could have a long term connection with. I feel like, though, you know, with this Queen of Swords, you could be, um, you know, setting this bound your boundaries with this person making it quite clear here uh, what you want. You do have the Queen of Wands here as well. And look at that, you have the Two of Cups, okay? So there's definitely a single energy vibe here and a very strong connection between you and someone. And this could be somebody that you work with. This could be somebody that you'd like to work on a relationship with. Let's go through the cards. You have Earth Energy. You also have here uh, Fire air as well okay so four of wands and the three of cups okay so it does feel like an energy there's definitely somebody here that makes you very happy for some of you i do pick up there could be a third party situation whether it's you or your person know that roles can be reversed we have water energy here as well now we also have here strong aquarius strong taurus strong Corp uh, scorpio and leo here with the world card. Now this could be somebody who um, lives at a distance, doesn't have to be, all right? I feel like too, this could even be somebody uh, that you met outdoors or maybe um, there is somebody new here. I, you know, I'm definitely picking up here options. It does feel like there is some sort of shift or some sort of change. All right, now you could have either started a new cycle with somebody or you could have ended a cycle with somebody here. And now there's different options here that are coming into play. But let's see what else we have here on the table. Okay, now this could be questions, right? Having mixed emotions as well about a situation. I'm going to say for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's in another relationship or even married, but let's see what the energy is here for you, Aries. What else can you tell Aries about the person on their mind? Okay, so there's that Queen of Wands energy. Okay, very uh, passionate, sexy here, assertive. Definitely your energy here, uh, Aries. You also have here the High Priestess, strong Cancerian. Uh, or Pisces, you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, it feels like there was a cycle here that ended. Somebody may have ghosted you, right? Or maybe you're feeling left behind or not valued in a situation. And you have here the Nine of Cups. So you've got the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups, 
bottom of the deck here, you do have the tower. All right. So I feel there's definitely an energy in your situation. You may not be feeling completely content about it because I do see here with the five of pentacles, it does feel like an energy that there may have been a cycle here that ended. All right. It does feel that there's definitely could be a third party situation uh, here. I'm strongly picking up may not be everybody's story does feel like there was some sort of tower moment between you and this person broken trust, right? Something in the relationship may have caused a lot of drama or chaos here and it caused separation or a break between the two of you is what I'm really getting here. I feel that there's definitely distance. Now you have here the Queen of Wands and you have the High Priestess, okay? So I feel like there could be somebody here Okay, this person on your mind here, there could be some sort of secret here. Maybe your intuition is telling you that there is a third party. I do pick up third party here in the situation. Okay, and seven of cups, if there is a third party, definitely an energy here of feeling discontent about it. Or maybe your intuition is maybe telling you that, telling you that there could be a third party, right? Now, if it's on your side, then you'll know that. But let's see what else here we got. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you tell Aries about the person on their mind? What can you tell Aries about the person on their mind? Okay, so you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Star card, Strong Aquarius energy. The Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Queen of Cups. A lot of Queen energy here. A lot of Queen energy here. Okay. And you have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So I feel like you have a lot of mixed emotions about this person on your mind. The fact that you have a lot of queens here tells me there is some sort of action here that is going to be taken here. All right, now maybe it's on your side, maybe it's on your person's side, but let's see what's below this. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I feel potentially this could be new energy that is coming your way, but it also can be this person here that I see you know, wanting to rebuild trust, wanting to rebuild the foundation here. Let's go through this. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So you may be single here, Aries, waiting for this offer, right? Waiting for an offer here for the stability, for things to come together. You do have the Star card here as well. So this can be about you, you know, finding your own balance within, still having hope, having faith, in the situation, you know, not completely sure if there's a third party. Some of you may already know that there's a third party. You do have a knight here, okay, with a message. And it's also an energy here of change. So I feel, um, you know, Aries, I feel like you've got somebody here, to be quite honest. I feel like you have somebody here that is involved uh, in a third party situation. You, your intuition may be telling you this, all right, or it could for some of you be a secret. I feel like you're not feeling content about this, but what I do see here is you may be very focused on your money and your career right now. It's an energy here of doing very well for yourself, standing in your abundance. So you may be doing well in other areas of your life. You may be in this, this Queen of Wands energy, single energy here, um, you know, or this could be the third party, but... Um, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. I feel like this energy of you, you know, maybe still having hope or faith about this connection, but also an energy of, you know, finding your own balance um, and stability here, okay? Now, like I said, it does feel like there is some sort of message that is coming your way with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is an energy where you're going to, when you get this message, I feel like it's going to make you very happy because you do have the Ace of Wands here and you have the Ace of Pentacles. 
So there is some sort of new beginning here, a new transformation. This, you know, this could be this person coming back around, wanting another opportunity, wanting to be, rebuild trust here, okay? Interesting, interesting. I'm just going to um, clarify here, or actually, let's just get three more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you tell Aries about their situation here? Who is this Knight of Pentacles? Okay, so there's the Queen of Swords again. So she's right next to the Seven of Cups. I feel like what that is saying here, you're not going to deal with somebody who, uh, you're not going to be an option here, okay, right next to the Seven of Cups. It's quite clear here. You have your guard here, your guard up here. You're protecting yourself. Right, you're part you're quite clear here what you want. There's the Knight of Cups. And there's the Empress. All right. You got love here on the horizon. And you have here the Seven of Pentacles. You have somebody here, I feel, who wants to invest with you. It could very well be you could hear from this person here with that Knight of Pentacles, but now you got the Knight of Cups. This is the person on your mind, so I feel very well. This could be you setting your boundaries, right? Letting this person know that you're not going to become an option here. This person may have ghosted you because I do get an energy here of somebody else in the picture. All right, but then here comes the Knight of Cups right, with the Nine of Cups. There is some sort of message or um, somebody here wanting to express how they feel or say something in a loving way here to you, and I get the energy that this is going to make you very happy. You also have the Empress here, all right? So I feel here there's potential and growth. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. It does feel like an energy with that Nine of Cups, there's something loving, uh, loving here, or this person expressing um, how they feel to you. Maybe now uh, seeing your worth here. Let's see what we got here. You have the Seven of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this feels like somebody here that you had some sort of ending here that you invested some sort of time with. I feel like you're going to get a message from this person. I also feel the energy here of new love for you as well, that you're going to have options here. Either, you know, you're dealing with a third party and you're standing your ground here, you know, letting this person know you're not going to be an option here. All right. But you go from feeling left behind to very content here. Okay. With the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. And um, this bottom row looks very, very nice here, very solid here, okay? So there's an energy here of feeling emotionally more in balance, an energy here of where there's potential growth, okay? An energy here where I feel like you've done some healing here, you're feeling balanced within, taking, I feel like whoever this is, I feel, you know, it's the person on your mind, but I, I also pick up new energy here, I feel like you're going to take things slow and steady. And I feel like things are going to be very, very balanced here. So let's uh, pull the singles energy. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what's the single energy here for Aries? What can you tell Aries about love, being single? Okay, we have the tower. We have the high priestess. Wow. The six of pentacles. The Queen of Wands, there's that Queen of Wands, that single energy again. The Lovers, ooh, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy here that there's going to be more than one person um, in your life. I feel it could be uh, somebody here, the person on your mind, I, and, and I feel like it's this Knight of Pentacles here. And this may be somebody here um, after a, a cycle ended here, right? Maybe somebody who ghosted you, didn't value you in the past because they do get third-party energy there. Now they're coming back around. But I feel like you've done your healing. You're feeling more grounded here, more calm, right? 
more content I feel with you and your vibration feels very strong here. So I get the energy with the Empress. I get the energy that, that you have options. Like you've decided you're not going to be an option for this person. And I feel like you have options now. I feel like you have choices. And if you don't write this moment, you're going to. Because you also have here the page. You have the page of swords and you have the fool card. I feel like you've got somebody here who's been checking you out. Maybe they're online. You know, if you're online dating or if this is somebody on social media, somebody's really got their eye on you. And there's an energy here. If you take that risk, that leap of faith into the new energy, all right, there's definitely um, potential, okay? So you have the tower, you have the high priestess, and you have the six of pentacles. I feel like this is divine intervention. I feel this is divine intervention here, and uh, there's somebody new coming into your life, okay? You're going to have some options here. Now, you got the Six of Pentacles, and what I get here is I feel that this is, the universe is bringing you options, and you're going to have to use your intuition, your wisdom, your experience from the past here to decide where you're going to put your time and your energy, okay? Because you have the Queen of Wands, you have the Lovers, and you have the Ten of Wands. So what I get here, I said I felt like the end of a cycle. This is the end of a difficult cycle for you. Now you have a decision, a choice to make, where you're going to put your time and your energy. Okay, Queen of Wands, you're in control here. You're the one who is taking action. The lovers could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel there's somebody new coming in. You're going to have the choice here whether you're going to want to... Um, where you want to where you want to put your energy, right? If this person's moving too slow because they're dealing with third party, I feel like you got a new option here, right? You're the empress, you sit on that throne, you call the shots here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Aries. Wow, very very interesting here. But I do feel that the person on your mind is coming back around. But they're moving quite slow here. All right, it's almost like this person's coming back around, right? They're at a standstill. The Queen of Cups here, you know, I feel like this is your energy here, uh, Aries. You're just kind of sitting back, right? And watching, right? Watching, waiting. You're very calm. You're very in touch here because I feel like you've done some healing, you found your own balance here, and then here's somebody new coming in, and I feel like you're calling the shots. So what I'm gonna do uh, now, Aries, I'm just gonna ask how the person on your mind is thinking or feeling about you, and then after that, we'll take it to the extended. We'll dive deeper, we'll also look at their upcoming actions their intentions, love notes, guidance as well. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's this person's feelings for Aries? Okay, so we have the nine of swords. We have the five of swords. And we have the justice. Okay, yeah, look at that. Three of swords. This person knows that they did not do something right here. I feel like this person is a bit worried. They can't get too off of their mind here with this Nine of Swords. All right. They're coming back around. I see some sort of message, but I also get that this person is very, very worried. Right? It may even be their own conscience here because of this uh, third-party situation. You have the Five of Swords, my third-party card. Okay? So this may be somebody who is playing games. This may be somebody who... Um, maybe there was some sort of argument here and you have the justice, you got strong Libra energy. So I feel like this person knows they need to make things right. Okay. They need to heal things here. If you're, you know, if you're even going to consider this person to be back in your life, your sword is up, your guard is there. Look at that. You have the hermit. I feel like this person has been spending quite some time thinking about things here. Thinking about, um, you know, what transpired between the two of you. Some of you could even be in legal separation with this person as well. So, uh, Aries, we're going to take this to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.